Hello, I'm Bill, and you're watching Bill Making Stuff, where I make stuff. More specifically, I make stuff out of old plastic and junk and just stuff lying around like your sibling or small child. Last week, in the comments of my uh, video, I'll put a link here, I was asked to build a tank or a wheeled vehicle of some kind, and I have a ton of round shaped lids. So. Let's make some wheels and uh, see where we go from there. Now, as well as a ton of lids, I have a lot of these weird containers, plastic tubs that I have no idea where I got them from, but uh, I can use these for the body. So here's granny grating. I'm going to use this to create some texture on the side of my tank. Uh, I, I don't know why it's called granny grating. Um, I did steal it from my granny, but they were never to know that. So. So instead of the standard four wheels, uh, my vehicle is from the future and it has six because it's from the future. Now it's time to make some turrets and just tanky things. Like I said, I have a lot of lids. So when I build things like this, uh, you know, I don't like it to be too symmetrical. So I'd stick one turret over here and, you know, one slightly off center. Just, I believe the technical word is janky. Now this is a giant plastic toy pill that my son had. I confiscated it after he tried to swallow it three times. So I took a load of plastic tubes to make my main gun on the tank. And uh, yeah, I mean, is that too long? Is it, too, is, is it ever too long? I don't know, we'll see. So the idea is to just keep adding things to this to disguise that horrible blocky shape. Eventually you shouldn't be able to see that squarish shape at all. So at the time of shooting this video, it's uh, it's 2021, Happy New Year. Yay! Apparently. These are the eyes of an old robot. Another one of those silly pill toys. Now I've got a lot of these super glue containers. Uh, I, have, I have no idea why I have so many of them. All right, yeah. Well, they're, they're pretty cool shapes. So uh, I tend to throw them in my builds, recycle and all that. These are the rails from an old helicopter toy my son had. Uh, he didn't try and swallow this one. I just, uh, I needed those rails. Now for my grill at the front of the vehicle, I'm gonna use this piece of an aquarium roof. So I think here should be a hatch for the driver of the vehicle. Let him check it over. Yay. All good. It's too big. It's, uh, I think it's definitely too big. Uh, we just need to do that. Always try and get those widgets out of the Guinness cans. Yeah. And always remember a spare tire on your vehicle. So I gathered up every tube and stick thing that I could find. Uh, I need to make some guns for this mother. Now a good source of cheap plastic tubes are felt tip pens from the power store and they are so cheap you can just pretty much do this.
spray bottles. It's the one time I'm going to say it. So I have this chain uh, that I'm going to use to make a winch for my business. You're just an embarrassment. As I said, a winch on the front of my vehicle for some reason, should be on the back. Now we need some slitty window things that you find on tanks. I don't know the technical word. I'm going to call them slitty windows. So to add uh, rivets in your slitty windows, get a drawing pin and start piercing holes in some styrene. And then glue the plastic on. like to do with my styrene is cut out just a load of random squares and shapes and just stick them all over the vehicle like it's been repaired over and over and over again. Uh, don't forget to add the rivets. Now I want to make some valves to open up the hatches. Uh, take the little loops from your super glue containers, uh, get your bits box and take out some tile spaces. Stick it on a stick and there you go, you got a valve on a stick. The obligatory stars, um, yeah, stick them in places that look nice. This is the point in the build where I get my bits box and I start adding all sorts of little bits and pieces. If you haven't amassed a collection of colourful beads and rhinestones, what's wrong with you? So it's rivet time. So once it's built, take it outside and spray it with primer. I spray it with black and gray from above. And let's paint. So I cover the whole piece in rust red and we are finished. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and you come back, subscribe. Of course, that was a joke. I can easily make this tank look worse than it does already. Now, I'm not the best painter in the world, I've said that every video, and I will say it every video forevermore. But uh, I like to snip all the paint on, and when it dries it gives you a nice rough texture. Okay, now it's time to add some silver, or uh, silver. Here's my collection of stencils, uh, random things. I always stencil random stuff all over my builds. Uh, if you're going to stencil, make sure you do it before the wash stage and the weathering stage. This is the uh, build technique for chipping. Video here. Okay, time for some wash. This is homemade brown acrylic paint washing up liquid and water with too much washing up liquid. And that's really about it. So here it is, it's uh, a war wagon tank car thing with guns. It's, I'm quite happy with it. I never really made anything like this before. This build was actually a suggestion in the comments of the last video, so if you'd like to suggest something else, please comment. Uh, I always answer the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, and bye!